Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, uh, never heard no horse. <laughs> Give me a kiss If you're looking for trouble Kiss me again Cause I'm hoping you are Press it right there And I'll pay you back double But this ain't the real thing Look at my lips They're just dying to taste you Look at my teeth They're just aching to bite But as for my heart It's a big empty chasm Cause this ain't the real thing it's just a spasm You've got a laugh that could bring me to tears You've got compassion coming out of your ears You've got a mind that's agile and bright But that's not the reason that I'm yours tonight Well, I've got this urge to consume you in pieces I've got desires that could swallow you whole Feelings like these, I'm sure everyone has them but they're not the real thing they're just a spasm but they're not the real thing they're just a spasm This trick that could give you convulsions. I know this trick that could bring you near death. Some call it sick, some have called it exotic. But never the real thing, though it's quite spasmodic. Oh, you've got a smile that's gentle and wise. You've got a holy man look in your eyes. You know where you're going, you know where you've been. But that's not why my nails are tearing into your skin. So let's get this straight. I'm not in for the long haul, so spare me the roses, the wine and the song. It all boils down to the raw protoplasm. Cause this ain't the real thing. It's just a spasm This ain't the real thing But who needs the real thing When we've got The spasm Yeah! Ooh, that's sexy! <laughs> <laughs> Dave but is really sexy, yes, isn't he? Is he? <laughs> <laughs> he writes the lyrics, yeah. Uh, my name's Ralph Litwin, you're watching Horses Sing None of It, and this is Dave's True Story, Kelly Flint and Dave Cantor. Hi. Nice to have you on the show. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Love the, uh, ch -ch it almost sounds like you need the ch 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 We, ch well, you know, we play with a band. <laughs> <laughs> we are known to. So when people want to hear that ch 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 they come out to the club to see you. Right. Okay. So, uh, Dave, you're the songwriter? Yes. And how did the two of you hit it off and, and get together? To well, we were, um, we were part of a sort of songwriter's 
clump <laughs> <laughs> of people that traveled in a pack. And um, uh, a dear friend of ours said that I should sing Dave's songs. And um, I said I didn't want to sing Dave's songs because they were too jazzy. <laughs> and um, then one night Dave and I, Dave's a really great dancer, uh -huh. ballroom dancer. So I asked Dave to take me out dancing. We ended up, in, so we went to have a drink first. We ended up having like four or five <laughs> Jack Daniels. And I said, Dave, take me over to your house so I can learn one of your songs. So he did. And I learned one of his songs, much to his disappointment, <laughs> as far as his plans for the evening. And, um, and then uh, we, sang, we sang it at a, at a festival, and it went over really well. And so we decided to learn some more songs, for me to learn some more uh -huh. songs. And we had our first gig at the Postscript. So did you ever get to dance? We never did. I don't <laughs> think we've ever danced, have we? No. We've never danced. That's, By that's golly. something we have to do. You have to do that sometime. <laughs> Great. Horses don't dance, do they? <laughs> horses, I'm sorry. horses don't dance. Horses dance. Actually, oh, hand, yeah. horses do dance. Yeah, I guess they do. They call Mr. it dressage. Ed? They call it what? Dressage. They, they uh, yeah, do the special trained horses, oh. do steps and stuff. In fact, I once had a lady who his daughter had a very uh, adept trained dressage horse that plays the guitar and she wanted to <laughs> with his teeth with uh, yeah well he tongue the strings <laughs> while the, the daughter would uh, you know play the you know, chords <laughs> with the left hand and the, and the horse would tongue the strings in rhythm that's really funny yeah but we've never ma managed to get any video of it unfortunately oh. she, she travels around the country with this horse at going to shows and stuff wow yeah Sometime, maybe That's she'll, maybe she'll be in New you. Jersey and call me again. Yeah, you should you should have her on the show. I'd love to, but she tours too much. Oh, horses <laughs> tongue none of it. Yeah. <laughs> so give us another song. What do you got for us? Um. Okay. This is a song for anyone who is interested in English literature. I've an appetite for fiction, no postmodern work can slake. I refuse to read a book unless it's thicker than a steak. Now Gordon Lish and Barry Hanna have their partisans on shills, but I prefer Victoriana for my literary thrills. And of all the British authors who were writing at that time, there's one special British author I find especially sublime. Now Austin is awesome, and Dickens is a kick, but no one packs a wallop quite like Trollope. Yes, Trollope is the one I most adore, but my days of reading Trollope are no more. I was sitting in a quaint cafe with a favorite tone and some cafe au lait, but my Luck ran out when you came my way Now I'll never read Trollope again You spied the cover as you slithered near And said, the 1800s, that's my favorite year And then you sat right down and now I fear I'll never read Trollope again Armed with Trollope and a cup or two I could while the day away Now just a dollop makes me think of you and that's too high a price to pay I'll read Kafka's tale about that lonely vermin I'll read every Jonathan Edwards sermon I'll read Emmanuel Kant in German but I'll never read Trollope again Take it Dave This is the instrumental break section I used to read him with a friend or two. I used to read him by myself. But just to read him now only makes me blue. So I tossed him from my shelf. I'll read Don Quixote five or six times through. 
I'll read Jackie Collins till my face turns blue hell. I'll even read Bukowski too, but I'll never read Trollope again. Cause I'll never read Trollope again. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, I guess people tell you that you, you write in a Cole Porter-esque style, I guess? Uh, yes, I, Is it, I've been told that, yes. Do, do you consider him a big influence, or you just came up with your own style and then people compared you to him? Um, uh, probably not as big of an influence as you might think, but I did listen to those guys. I probably started listening to him more once people started telling me <laughs> that. You know, so. Yeah, that happened to me too. Somebody said I sounded like Slim Gaylard, and so I... I had to buy a compact disc player because that was the only way you could get a Slim Gaylard record anymore. <laughs> right. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Um, people have said that he that Dave is sort of like Cole Porter meets Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah. Uh, we should show people your disc if I can get it out of my pocket. It went in there easily. Dave's true story. How's that for you, Bob? Okay. There's a nice picture on the back, too. I'm going to flip it around. Got a nice picture of. We flew to Paris to have our picture taken. <laughs> you did? <laughs> no. <laughs> you just wrote it off as a minor expense. <laughs> and uh, so that's available. Well, it's not really available in stores. But they can find out how to get it by writing to us on the email address. Okay, so or calling the hotline. There and there it is. If you want more information about the album, or if you want to get on Dave True Story mailing list to find out where they're performing, call that number two one two nine seven eight eight seven four zero, or you can get to them at that email address. DTS story at AOL dot com. DT story. Oh, DT story. Yeah. Oh, yes, I misread that. Okay, good. Okay, should we do another song? Yeah, why not? Um. <laughs> yeah, you always have to whisper it to him. Before. <laughs> the answer is. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. The, what secret is the, word, the secret what is word. word. What is the What is the um, Jeopardy? How does it go? Final Jeopardy. How does the song go? Okay. Thank you. This is a true story. Of an appetite. Oops. <laughs> 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 I was about to say that. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is a true story. It is. <laughs> the occult has never been my favorite scene. But I found myself beset by such odd dreams. So I went to see a psychic to comfort. In a room that reeked of sandalwood and myrrh And the hours flew by as I sat with her She said, the wheel of life has done me to a turn Seems I have no karmic lessons left to learn I've been everything from Pope to Petty Crook Seems I'm several centuries older than I look And when I go this time I'm finally off the hook I know my words astound But I swear I'm not unsound It's now or never, darling For this is my last go round I think Shakespeare was offended just a touch When I told him that his Hamlet talked too much As a courtesan to kings I proved adept 
I watched the stars as Tutankhamun slept. And when Socrates let go of the cup, I wept. Those charlatans abound. I've got to stand my ground. It's now never, sweetheart. For this is my last go round. I've had a rich and varied time, according to my psychic friend. How strange that fate should feel inclined to save you for the very end. And since you never know what life may have in store, I may be wrong to think we've ever met before. Perhaps we chatted briefly way back when the night I drove King Louis's carriage to Varennes. But I doubt we'll have the chance to meet again. Don't mean to bring you down. But I'm bound for higher ground It's now or never, sweetheart For this is my last go Does that have something to do with how the name of the group came about? Mm -hmm. How did you know? Well, you said it was a true story. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, when we did our first show at the Postscript, um, I said, this is a true story. This is Dave's true story. And the same dear friend who told us that I should sing his songs yelled out of the audience, that's your name! <laughs> uh-huh. What a meddler! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah. So, are you a songwriter too, or you were just yeah. hanging around with songwriters? No, I'm a songwriter too. You're a songwriter too. Do you guys do any of your songs? Well, we do one. We we, st we did one once. You did one once. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so different. It's just such a different style of uh -huh. songwriting that it sort of doesn't, you know. Doesn't meld in. I don't think so. It was little. It was good, but it was kind of a little different. Yeah. Well, who knows? Maybe sometime in the future. Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> anything's possible. Yeah. So, uh, what else do you want to tell us or play for us? Um. Well. I'm gonna ask you about your childhoods if you don't watch out. Uh oh. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> you first. <laughs> You don't want to know. <laughs> don't go there. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, don't you start with me. <laughs> um, well, I suppose we could do another song. What was one of the other ones we had planned on doing? Oh, yeah, okay. All right, we'll do another song. This is a song um, for anyone who's ever been in trouble with their spouse or mate. And I'm sure that doesn't apply to you. I'm sure you're just squeaky clean. No, I've been in trouble <laughs> with my spouse. You have? Okay. Yeah. But not deep trouble. Oh. Well, I think this, this probably is deep trouble, yeah, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Actually, now that I said that, I have to realize that I have been in deep trouble. Uh -oh. <laughs> I made you cry. I made you blue. But please don't fly as you seem inclined to do. Because I'd rather die. And say goodbye to you I'm so repentant All that Van Gogh theft Was nothing to my crime One solid left Should make my eye teeth chime I must confess You called me good this time I'm so repentant It's not as if these slips of mine Reflect a bit on you just sometimes these lips of mine don't care whose lips they do. So I take a whack, 
I really think you should My record's black My head's a block of wood No bug can take me back I may be no damn good But I'm so repentant I am a It's not as if these lips of mine could make my life more sweet. It's just sometimes these hips of mine don't care whose hips they heat. I made you cry, I made you blue, but I'd rather lie with you than lie to you. I'd rather die than say goodbye to you. I'm so repentant. I'd rather die than say goodbye. I'm so repentant. I am, I am, no, no. I am, no, no. Oh, no, no. I am, no, no, no. Yeah. Smack me, huh? I smack me. <laughs> <laughs> I, missed, I missed your eye teeth. <laughs> I have to be aim better. <laughs> so I really do want to know how how did you get involved in music? When you know what what hit you that you wanted to do music? Um, well, let's see. For me, it was um, going to see Two Serve with Love with my mother when I was really really small, <laughs> and seeing Lulu sing that song. And then there were just some songs that uh -huh. I just loved to sing, like uh, I Think We're Alone Now. I thought that uh -huh. was just such a cool song. And uh, I, would, I sang all my life since I was a little kid, and I would sing um, the same line of a song over and over and over and over because I'm a Virgo and I wanted to get it perfectly. <laughs> and uh, my mother used to stick her head in the whatever room I was in and say, on to the next line. <laughs> <laughs> and then at a certain point she'd say, okay, time for a new song. <laughs> <laughs> and you listened to her? Yeah, I would, I would change, you know. By golly. Didn't want to be you know, totally getting on her nerves. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Dave? Well, I, um, I mean, as a teenager I was, you know, an inspiring guitarist. But I actually gave it up for a long time and only came back to it after my attempts at playwriting didn't pan out the way I wanted to. <laughs> and then I started writing songs and uh, I don't know, it's kind of said, I'll try this for a while. You know, so. Oh, face it, you did it to get chicks. <laughs> 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 did it work? Not especially. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we all yeah. try. Uh, yeah, we have about four and a half minutes, and we have, what, a, a four-minute song there? Uh, I believe so. What were we doing? Luna. Oh, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, um, I hope it lasts that long. Maybe we should talk for, like, 30 more seconds. It might be a little It might be, yeah, I think it's like well, a three minutes. You can always give me an extra harmonica break at the end if we run out of... Okay, <laughs> we'll do that. Okay. <sighs> Well, thanks for having us yes, on. My pleasure. Enjoy your music very much. It's a very uh, relaxing, <laughs> laid-back experience. Watching the blue water Blue night Watching the day break Blue night So much 
hearts like blue water Blue night Making my heart break Making my heart break All along the river Where the tall birds sway And the women crowd the shore You can watch the river And the birds of prey I don't do that anymore Blue Nile So much like blue diamonds Blue Nile So much like blue lake Blue Nile Watching the blue the muddy river where the tall birds sway and the women crowd the shore get too near the river you get in their way I don't do that anymore blue So much like daybreak A blue night Watching the blue water Blue night How much can the heart take? How much can the heart take? How much can the heart take? How much can I take?